ladies, gentlemen, those of us who know better, welcome to week four. This is your beginner guide. So if you're some reason lost on this map, I don't blame you. It's uh, a bit confusing, so we're going to go through it. Uh, this first route, you will need absolutely zero skill in the game. It is completely walkable. I am going to go a little bit faster. But yeah, you go come out this first room around the back here. You could go over that if you had a load of speed and hit it right. Yeah, uh, try just like pressing W. Then we're going to jump over this. Just like jump on, jump over. Yeah. Double jump if you can. Yeah, try just holding W. You'll gain speed. Hold W and jump at the same time. You'll gain speed as you go. Turn with AD. Here. Round and round and round the back. I'll show off some slight shortcuts. These are jump pads. So hit them. You want to aim for uh, actually to land up here. You'll probably make it. Otherwise, yeah, just fall in the water. And respawn. Keeping an eye out for a few of the shortcuts people are taking. But we're going to go round the back here. Round and round. Up the stairs. These are going to be a brute for most people. Round here. Down here. Try to drop down as soon as possible because the more jumps you can get on this down ramp. You see, if you see I do it gaining speed slowly. So yeah, if you can get like two jumps on that, that's good. Through here. You can go straight through these. This is going to screw me up. I know it is. I'm going to try and get through between them. But yep, you can just jump on those. They are not going to do you any harm. Tight corner. Watch out for these bits. Because you will literally just hit this, bonk into the top of it, and die. Uh, yeah. So, bounce up. Up the top there. Round this corner. Ignore that bit. There might be a secret down there or something. Down here. Or potentially, hold on. Is there an exit? No, there isn't. Okay. Round and up here. Then hit this. Aim for this side to jump along here. And down into the finish. There. You should be able to get a sub two minute time with that, I reckon. Give it a good go. And as you're going, try to... Incorporate some of these uh, some of these tricks. So we're going to start off same as we did before. Going to just find our spacing over this. That's going to be quite difficult for most people. But you can hit this, jump over here, and go down here if you've got enough speed, or potentially try to get yourself up and onto this ledge, which you get a bit more speed. But you're going to have a tight corner here. Again, I think most people are going to be trying to get through this window. This is probably one of the easiest ones to do. The easiest little shortcuts. Keep it low, then flick off of that. Then once you're around here, you can just jump to there. Up here. We're going to go low down here. Because I want to show off doing this jump. Into this jump. And then through here. Now that's one way to do it. We're going to go back to the start. So this is not for the beginners, this is for people who already know this map and are able to pick up uh, back where we've just left off. We're going to go back to the start, we're going to do this jump again, because I was going to do the other route but I forgot. I'm not very good at changing routes. That's not going to be too easy. This bit, I reckon most people should be able to, if they can keep all their speed, they should be able to get this flick. Because it's really not too, uh, too painful. Round this corner, hit the bounce. So the other route is to come over here, jump over to there, up here, or you can go around the back. Uh, there's a few routes. It's, it's kind of, yeah, and that's where you meet up with that. And then it's off down here. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be interesting to see which route reigns supreme at the end of all of this for each person individually. It's going to be difficult. I do want to check down here. So ignore this if nothing happens when I go down here. But I do just want to check down here. Okay. No. Nothing. I don't think you'll be able to get through. It's just a random uh, exit there. You might be able to get some extra speed coming around and doing things off of that. I'm not too sure. There's multiple layers to this. It's like Shrek and an onion. It has layers. 
Then of course coming down here, coming down here, coming down here, coming down here. It is recommended you have 1800 speed. 1800 speed and you should be able to just about get across there. 1900 just to be sure. So let's pop in my first consistent fast run where I hopefully won't bonk because otherwise it will be crap. Not sure which route I'm going to go for. We'll make that up as we go along. This is quite a tight turn, actually, especially with all of the extras. You've got to avoid the holes and stuff. That's not easy. This bit. <coughs> yeah, I think it's going to depend on spacing, which one you want to go for, really. Ooh, it's all tight. It's all very, very tight. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's all tight. I'm going to have to remember how to AD turn really tightly now. I think we're going to be ducking beneath that, to be fair. Let's see. Have I got enough speed? Uh, no. Okay. So, hitting that actually quite difficult to get straight across. But there we go. There's a sub minute. Thank you very much for watching. Get yourself on the server. xdwc.xdf.gg Links are all down in the description for everything you're going to need. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next week for the final week. Oh, Cool made this map. Thank you to Cool.